thing you're gonna do is we're gonna remove this side fairing here. There's one more of those push pins right there where the headers are at. Let me show you what I did here because the ground clearance is so, there's not enough ground clearance at all to stick a traditional pan. I have this little five quart jug left over and I cut a little slit. I'm just going to slide that guy right underneath there. Hopefully it'll just fill it up and then I'll, once it's like filled up, I'll funnel it out into another one. Alright, so now you can see how the oil is just draining out. Got a little bit on the ground. That's alright. Send all your EPA concerns to... 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Let me show you what I did here because I don't have a motorcycle oil filter wrench. And we live out in the boonies. So I'm not going 30 miles into town to get one. So I just took an old belt that we have because we have tons of stuff just lying around. And let me show you what I did with this belt. Just took it on the, wrapped it on the inside of a regular oil filter wrench. Of course, if I knew my direction to put this on. And you can see that it's turning. And so it gave it just enough to get it started. So I'm going to get this going here. There we go. That booger was on there good. Show you my setup that I have. You can see what I did. Just let that fall through there. I'll be able to see draining perfect all right now we're ready to put the new filter on see how nice and easy that was I got a little bit on the headers right there Let me clean that up really clean this up right all right it says it takes 2.6 quarts which is 2,500 milliliters, so we're going to put two and a half of these in there. Please make sure you read your manual. I went to the dealership today, and the lady tried to tell me it took 3.3. And knowing I read the manual, it said 2.64, 2 2.69 quarts. 2,500 milliliters, so I'm going to put 2,500 milliliters which is just a little bit over two and a half quarts. 